Peace family. Come harvest a garden salad with me. It's just me today. Uh, the kids are with grandma and hubby's at work. So we're not gonna get a lot, but I've like when I started growing food, I was like, oh, it would be so amazing if I can harvest like a full salad. And I think I got what I need to make a pretty good one. So let's see. Okay. The long, I mean, this is Okinawa spinach, not longevity. The difference is the, the leaves are purple on the bottom. And when you're growing food, just so you know, the more color, the more purple, the better for you. So this is a really good green for salad. And it's easy to grow. Also, it needs to be pruned. I've got marshmallow back here and I can see, look, I can't see the bugs. I can't defend them as well because it's covering it up. So I'm gonna thin this out a little bit and let's see what we get. So this is what we got. I will separate them when I get in the house. And look at my poor marshmallow. You can see I have two back here and they've been getting eaten up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the time to get all the worms off of them and now they have a little more space and we'll keep harvesting. I also wanted to mention that one of the marshmallow looks worse than the other one, but I only plan to leave one here and marshmallow has been hard for me to even get to stay and grow here. So I left both of them and at this point it's survival of the fittest. So I'm kind of glad that one looks worse than the other one because I only need one. Let's go get a cucumber. Oop, on the way to the cucumber, I found a tomato. It's not all the way there, but it's good enough for me. <laughs> okay we've got so i planted pickling cucumbers i think this is a rhinish pickling cucumber but this cucumber is bigger than i thought it would be um doesn't look like pickling but that's okay i'm gonna go ahead and take it there's another one so it's starting to produce really well and i want to go ahead and take a cucumber or two i'm just gonna take one because it's just for me but um i have to start harvesting so it knows that i want to eat so let me grab that one real quick all right we got him guys he looks good to me cucumbers do have these spikes on there if you've never grown cucumbers before they are a little spiky when you pick them but it's not too bad and that's a nice size it's actually way bigger than i thought because i was going for pickling there's also a carrot down here that is about to get tangled up so i'm gonna pull it out i don't know how big it is uh, but i'm just gonna pull him out of there tiny tiny this one's gonna be for teddy also in the same bed we have borage and I grow it for the bees, but it's also tasty and beautiful. My daughter likes these too, so I'm just gonna cut like a whole little thingy off and I'll pull the flowers off when I get back. Probably this one since it's hanging out of the bed. Okay, and then over here, I have my carrot. 
Yeah, that one's just enough. It's a little bit bigger. I ain't mad at it. I think the rest of everything that's over here is kind of small. So, the last thing I want to get is a pepper. I don't know what these peppers taste like, but I got it from the nursery. That one's getting kind of red. Even if it's spicy, that's going to be real good to me in my salad. So, I'm going to take this one off. And I know that plant looks thirsty. It's getting moved today. So, I got my salad stuff. Let's go make it. Okay, family. So, we've got our washed and chopped up Okinawa spinach. And our pickling cucumber. I'm going to only use half of this cucumber. I'll probably snack on the other half later on. Isn't this pepper lovely? I've got my tiny tomato. Yes, I'm going to cut it up. <laughs> so I can spread it throughout the salad. I got four little pieces off of him and I'm happy. My board is just looking a little bit wilted because I picked it earlier in the day. But these flowers will still be tasty and beautiful in the salad. This is a Cosmo Purple Carrot. It is one of my favorites. It might be small, but they are so beautiful and they're also really tasty. So we're going to put that in the salad. So the other day, I just happened to notice Hubby outside. I guess he was feeling like harvesting. So he went out and harvested the green beans for me. And I'm going to use some of those in my salad today. So this is the batch that he got and I wanted to show you guys the okay, different I got a types video of beans I want you that we are growing. About so this one is a dragon tables. tongue pole bean. Or like easy ways. This is the red swan bush bean. Did I say? This one is the royal burgundy bush bean. And these are Kentucky wonder pole beans. I kind of put them all in together. And this is a batch that I picked probably the day before he picked those. So the green beans are doing well. I am going to blanch and dehydrate them. But before dehydrating, I went ahead and pulled some of the fresh ones out to put on top of my salad. Look at this salad, guys. It looks so good. And I'm so proud that everything in this bowl was grown by me in our backyard. Organic produce, so good for me. It looks so good. And I hope you're able to do this in your garden as well. Last thing I'm going to do is throw some salmon on top and some salad dressing. And enjoy. This will be my lunch for today. I appreciate you guys joining me to harvest lunch and now all that's left for us to do is a little taste test let's see how it is mm. oh yeah almost forgot to show y'all this is 12 cuttings from harvesting 
that spinach. I'm actually going to take a few of them and plant them into soil directly so I can have them available for people locally and then the ones that develop roots in there I'll be able to ship. Yay! Propagation equals abundance. Peace!